Now, my name is Rodney Gibbons and I'm the MC for this little bit. So we're all here to um, uh, put our, our pressure on Tony and the Western Australian Government, if we can, about the closure of 150 Aboriginal communities that I think will trample on the rights of those individuals uh, to have a full and proper life in the townships and lands of their own than they choose. Now, our first speaker for the day, we're going to ask Trudy Maluga uh, if she can be first. Where's Ricky? There he is, mate. Sorry? Ricky, can you come up, please? He's the legal manager of the Tasmanian Aboriginal Centre and a long-term Aboriginal activist, as bold as he is. Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming. Uh, it's, a, it's a great day to be here. Look, I'm, I'm not really shocked at the federal government's um, uh, very racist uh, and disgusting agenda at what I see as uh, dispossessing these people up in the West. Um, but look, with regards to the forced, clo forced closure of Aboriginal communities is in fact uh, denying these communities their rights to their land and to be able to practice their culture. Now these people have been, up, been there for millennia and generation after generation a responsibility has been handed down to these people to maintain their land and it's a very extraordinary and complex uh, land oh, management system. So once dispossession That's happens, right. uh, you, know, you, you can imagine the consequences. Um, uh, living, living on country and living with country is not merely a lifestyle choice. It is a fundamental human right. And I think uh, one of Abbott's uh, biggest failures, and don't forget Colin Barnett too, is, uh, is here, is that there was no support in, uh, through uh, capacity building programs and infrastructure in these communities. So it, it makes the agenda of dispossession, in their eyes, so much easier. Uh, uh, to me, this uh, demonstrates uh, Mr Abbott's lack of understanding of Aboriginal cultural practices and uh, the continuing connection to the land of these people. As I said, this is about human rights, not lifestyle choices. This is a government that I see will be on the verge of yet another national apology. More stolen generations, more intergenerational trauma from the dispossession and government policy that yet again refuses to recognise Aboriginal people, the rights to the land, the rights to practise a culture. It is a God-given human right and he is denying that. Your lifestyle choice is your right, Mr Abbott. Our right to our land and our culture is our right. Mr Abbott, stop the closure, stop the dispossession, because if you don't, we will fight tooth and nail and do whatever is necessary yes. to support these people up in their community. Thank you.